Press you connect phone button to answer. Phone hey, Facebook friends, sorry, I was getting a phone call right as I hit live. But anyway, so uh, I just want to tell you how Usher saved Atlanta. Thank you, Usher. I'm going to tell you how he saved Atlanta. Okay, for those of y'all don't don't know, most of y'all do know, you know, <laughs> Usher run around here giving herpes away for free. Uh, and then he paying people to take herpes, apparently. But then take who? So, Usher just saved Atlanta from a heap of problems that we have faced this year. Alright, here we go. Falcons lost the Super Bowl. <laughs> Still hurts. But let's talk about why that happened. Here we go. If the Falcons would have won the Super Bowl, Usher would have performed at the ceremony. Therefore, our dome would have caught on fire before they finished the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. We would have been homeless. So, we just chose to lose the Super Bowl because we didn't want Usher burning up everything. Now, next thing. Okay, uh... The bridge burnt down over there on 85. Y'all blamed it on a crackhead. No. Usher was stuck in rush hour traffic. Got out. Took a piss on the side of the road. And there you go. Burnt down the bridge. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. Thank you, Usher. Everything that happened in Atlanta that went wrong this year, it's Usher's fault. Uh, the STD rate is higher in Atlanta than the majority of the country. Why is that? Oh, uh, Usher lives here. It's Usher's fault. Usher did it. Usher did it. So watch. Now he can't come back to Atlanta. Usher, don't tell nobody else you from Atlanta. Don't tell nobody else. You, we, we disown you now. We disown you. Uh, you're the last embarrassment for the city. So go on to your little house in LA, in, uh, LA or wherever and raise them STD rates. We don't want that. Mm -mm, mm -mm. No, no, but you on fire. Sitting up here, let it burn. You ain't supposed to get high on your own supply, bruh. Talking about let it burn. Now you burning. Hmm. Come on. Come on. Tighten up. Tighten up. Over here working out your eight pack and you got the pack. We don't want that. We don't want that, bro. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You might as well fire your trainer. You might as well get fat now. We ain't looking at you. Don't come this way. Uh, nah, nah. You might as well kill all of that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Now we know why him and Chili didn't work out. Fire and ice don't go together. So that that was destined to fail from the beginning. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying, Usher, you, you, you know you'd have messed up right. You know it's supposed to be there, but my mama probably going to see this video. Y'all know I can't cuss in my videos because she be still watching me. <laughs> but uh, I just had to get on here and speak on this Usher. I ain't going to get on and uh, talk about the rest of these celebrities and whatever. You know, R. Kelly got folks trapped in the closet. OJ said free, and then they bringing, up, bringing back the Ford Bronco that he drove away in. Whatever, that's irrelevant. But Usher, I had to speak on that uh, as an AT alien and say thank you for saving the city. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. So, we free. We free. Because y'all was trying to figure out, why is Atlanta having so many problems? It's Usher's fault. It's Usher's fault. He running around here letting it burn. And got Alvis talking about, here I stand. Here you stand over there by yourself. We don't want that. Mm -mm. Moving mountains but can't go to a clinic. Come on now. Come on. Mm -mm. Now you the president of the herpes club. You, yeah, and then you pay the, the chick off. You might as well keep sleeping with her because ain't nobody else going to want you now. Might as well go and get fat. Stop working out. We ain't looking at you no more. We ain't even trying to touch you. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, no, let it burn. We're going to let it burn over there. You ain't confessed that in your confessions. How about that? Then you're going to have an album come out with numbers on the 8701, whatever. I guess that was your case number from when you got the clinic. I'm just saying. I'm saying. Tighten up, Usher. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. You got to do better than that. But anyways, I'm flying down to it. I, I didn't mean to say flying. I'm just heading down to 85, but I just had to uh, holler at y'all real quick about this Usher situation, because, uh, 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 got to be more careful, mm, 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 now you got a lifetime supply problems, mm, no, no, we can't even do nothing with you, Usher, we don't, we don't know you, uh, don't go back to making no albums, don't uh, get back with Ludacris and them, no, ain't no A-Town connection, Better uh, call Dub C and them be the West Side Connection. Now, we don't want you. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Uh, I, I just spoke with Kasim Reed. He said that it was okay to disown you, Usher, so you were no longer Atlanta. Just saying. So, if y'all hear Usher, don't, he can't say a time down no more. No, no, no. You burning down downtown. No, no. Anyways, all right. Let me make my way to where I got to go. I'll holler at y'all. <laughs>